Imagine Dragons are used to playing for tens of thousands of fans, but today they have an audience of one. We're front row for a private impromptu jam session around lead singer Dan Reynolds' grand piano. Since they first hit the charts with its time in 2012, Imagine Dragon's potent lyrics and forceful melodies have made them rock superstars. With hits like the fiery ballad, Believer. And the electro-pop infused Thunder. They've racked up a slew of awards, including a Grammy for Radioactive in 2014. Their 2017 album, Evolve, went double platinum, sending them on a tour that sold over 1.7 million tickets around the world. Do you guys ever pinch yourself that, that you guys are here in this way now? Well, I can only speak for myself, but it was a, kind of a, a strange adjustment to make. Really only within the last two or three years, I've really like, I don't know, I've, I finally kind of got it. Dan started out the band in an unlikely place for a rock star, Mormon College campus, BYU. They later moved to Vegas to raise their profile. I mean, I remember us sitting in the like tiny home that, that we rent out, rented out together in Las Vegas. We had a whiteboard that we purchased and we were writing down band goals. And this was over a decade ago. Uh, and one of the first goals was to be a global band. The current lineup of Imagine Dragons, consisting of drummer Daniel Platzman, bassist Ben McKee, and longtime guitarist Wayne Sermon, has been together for over a decade, and they don't take that longevity for granted. How have you guys managed to maintain y'all's relationships as a band, but also stick it out this long? Having the foundation of respect uh, is the thing that has kept us together. We've been through loss, we've been through death in the families together, we've been through illness, and and babies and relationships and the end of relationships and you you can either see all that and then hate each other through it or you can see it and say damn we've we really love each other being mainstays in the ever-changing landscape of pop music the band has built a brand on consistency and turning a blind eye to the trends is it harder to make successful pop music in today's era where there are 15 minute careers that are born off, you know, apps like TikTok. Music's a language, it's constantly evolving and, and that, that world has absolutely changed from 10 years ago to now. And I think it's a really dangerous strategy if you try to change your process and your target to whatever's trending right now, because whatever's trending right now isn't going to be trending very soon. I'm far from good and true. Worldwide, the Dragons have a rabid following, recently headlining the inaugural Lollapalooza India with over 60,000 attendees. What was that like going to India for you guys? It was wild, it was mm -hmm. culture shock, the biggest culture shock I've had in quite a while. It's amazing to go to a place you've never been to after being a band for a decade and then uh, finding fans there that are passionate and know all the words to all the songs. Uh, it was incredible. Um, yeah, there were flesh going back as far as the eye can see and everyone's freaking out. But these guys aren't letting their epic success go to their heads. We'll be on the road for a long time. It's like, oh, we're, we're, we're feeling exhausted. We're poor, poor us or something. And then we'll go to a pediatric cancer charity event or a gala. And it's like, and you see these kids who are fighting the ultimate uh, fight. And then suddenly your problems are nothing. Since 2013, they've been determined to give back launching the Tyler Robinson Foundation, named after a terminally ill 16-year-old fan. Their annual Love Loud Festival in support of LGBTQ plus youth, also it's close to home. This is life-changing for a lot of the people here, and you are awesome for doing it. That was just so cool to see, especially uh, ha happening in Utah at that time. How's that festival doing? Love Loud is about raising conversation uh, about how homes and families, especially in uh, communities of high Orthodox faith, 
can love celebrate their LGBTQ youth. Uh, in the, a lot of these communities, we find that the suicide rate is higher, drug use is higher uh, for these kids who are not accepted in their homes. And actually, this is going to be the first year that we're, we're uh, taking it to Austin, we're taking it to, to DC. Imagine Dragons have seen every mountaintop, but what keeps them so cool is that they remain unbothered by the light. We wanted to see the world, we wanted to take our music to the world. So. Our aspirations were there. We did dream big. We always wrote big. Um, that's the kind of music that we like. Billions of streams, hundreds of millions of fans. Do accolades matter to you guys? I don't quite connect with the numbers and the accolades personally too much. Or maybe if I look at it too hard or too closely or care about it too much, you know, then it'll disappear like, I don't know, like a rainbow or like a pot of gold or something, you know? So that messes with what, like what your creative art should be in a way I don't like. So I don't know, I guess, uh, Thanks for the free therapy session. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.